all stakeholders, all interest groups must be involved. And I, I look at a situation where perhaps the federal government at this level can convey a national security summit to discuss our challenges and see how we can move forward. Because there's no way Nigeria can continue to exist in this uh, very situation we, are, we have. And another major problem is that uh, our security is politicized. People are not telling the truth. And it is, it's disturbing that uh, the military will continue to tell us that today we have 600 people killed, 1,000 killed, no pictorials to show us the, the casualties. And I ask, how many are these Boko Haram people that are being killed every day and yet they continue to attack villages? It's disturbing. And that's why I said that there's need to rejig the leadership of the security. I don't have anything against them. Some of them are my friends. If they cannot, on their honor, voluntarily throw in the towel to allow for this, then the president should do the needful by appointing new service chiefs. You know, regarding the, uh, I mean, the pictures that you talked about, having some form of evidence in court, there are those who think that this should not be uh, a, a media war, as it were. This is not, I think the term, oh, this is not a, a match of football or cricket where you showcase everything happening. So what is the component, uh, or what, what is the, uh, well, how important is the component you have mentioned, especially because they say that during war, you keep your cards close to your chest. So how much of an effect will that have? This, you see, that, that in itself, you know, it's, it's uncivilized for you to begin to show all those uh, pictures. But I tell you that it also has its own psychological effect on the terrorists if actually they are being killed. If, with this advent of social media, is there anything that is sitting anymore? Nothing is sitting. Everybody is, people can even, the military can leak it and disclaim that they were not responsible for it. But every day you hear 1,000 people, how are they buried? How do you account for those people that are buried? Mr. Jaffa, well, my worry is not the number of people that are killed daily. Yeah. The, what is your worry? Well, what do you think is the missing killed, link? But that the, the I honestly, I doubt the figures being released that are being killed. Because uh, if the number is anything to go by, then there should be a reduction in attacks in the villages, especially in the northeast and northwest. But the more they claim they are killed, the more the, these people dare and attack villages. So I have, uh, I have my doubts on the figures being released. And uh, that's why I said that it's political. I don't want us to also politicize our security. Let us tell ourselves the truth.